you know, there was a book, uh, George Friedman, the, uh, the geopolitical analyst. He wrote a book in the, in the early 2000s called The Next 100 Years, uh, where he tried to sort of forecast what the world might look like in the year uh, 2100. He began by talking about what the world looked like in the year uh, 1900. And then he goes sort of decade by decade, uh, how radically everything changed between, say, 1900 and 1930 or 1930 to 1950 and so on. And it's truly astonishing how many drastic paradigm shifts took place. Empires fell, empires rose, world wars, on and on. Really breathtaking global shifts. When you look at history that way, it's, it, it's, it's hard to wrap your head around how many changes can actually take place in a relatively short amount of time. Basically, within one person's lifetime, everything can change. You know, in 1900, uh, like he says in his book, London was the center of the world. There was no communism, no Soviet Union. There was the Ottoman Empire, the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and so on. The, uh, the Americans mostly stayed on their side of the Atlantic. And it seemed like this is how things would just be, you know indefinitely but just a, sh a short 40 years or so later everything changed england was demolished in the world war the ottomans were gone the soviets emerged germany took over france on and on really radical unthinkable changes then if you go ahead a few more decades to the 1980s again it seems like a completely different world and then on forward to the 2000s it's remarkable everything changed and when you think about that when you think about how many huge uh, paradigmatic pendulum swings there have been uh, that, that, that have taken place and that do take place in just a matter of decades, it makes certain continuities even more astonishing. When you're able to maintain a constant amidst the radical changes that sweep over every other element of international relations, global power relationships, uh, uh, international relations, and so on, uh, when you're able to actually keep something unchanged, it lets you know just how important, how paramount it is that this particular status quo remains intact. How important. This is Daniel's chapter two and twenty one. Then was the seek then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the power of heaven. And Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of Yahweh forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. First and foremost, I'd like to give all pra praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Hashem Rekar Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. So I just want to go into this lesson. You know, and in that scripture, there's a lot to unpack. Because, <clears throat> you know, a lot was revealed <clears throat> in, um, to Daniel's, to Daniel, you know, the prophet Daniel. You know, the statue, you know, which basically gave you the breakdown of all the kingdoms that would be ruling before. And then um, and then how the kingdom of heaven would be brought in. All right. But showing you how, you know, and I paid played that clip from um, that guy. I can't remember his name. I don't think I ever remembered his name, but a um, uh, guy says some profound things. I definitely believe is that he's definitely Israelite. OK, he looks like. Edomite, but he's that dude is an Israelite, all right. You know, he's a little bugged out. I call him White, I call him uh, Malcolm White, <laughs> you know, because um, reminds me a lot about Eli, he reminds me a lot of uh, Malcolm X. He says some profound things, you know, but um, that particular thing that he said is what sparked this lesson, you know, sparked my spirit to do this lesson. Excuse me, I'm a little sleepy. I'm going to try to get through it, though, you know. But, um, you know, Yahweh Bashim Shah, he controls, he changes. Um, matter of fact, there's a lot to unpack in the scripture. Uh, I'm going to read it again, starting at 21. And he changes the times and seasons, right? You know, in the 80s, you know, you had motherfuckers with high top fades and shit. 
you know, the nineties, you had the baggy pants and, you know, seventies, you had the bell bottoms, <laughs> you know, yeah, how about me? I shot orchestrated all these things because this is, a, a, a it's a stage. It's, it's, it's his play. All right. And he changes the, t- it says, uh, and he changes the times and seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, how about Shemiah was shy? You know, because uh, he was mentioning how so many things changed in so little time. All right. You know, he said like drastic, unbelievable changes, but it goes to show you that Yahweh Basha, he said things that you thought were just status quo that are going to stay that way. All right. These guys over here, these guys over here. Now, nah, Yahweh Basha, me how Shah controls those things. All right. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Yahweh Basha, me how Shah controls the, um, the level of information, man. I remember, hold on. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, I remember um, in the early 2000s, man. Uh, uh, I remember the early 2000s. You could just feel the um, knowledge being increased. You can, you could just feel, you know, this is before I was in the truth, but I could feel like knowledge being increased i could feel technology being upticked you know i'm thinking about when everybody had flip phones and then everybody went from flip phones to touch screens you know um but this is uh daniel's 12 and 4 but thou o daniel shut up the words and sealed the book even to the time of the end Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Right. And uh, the scripture I just read, he increases wisdom. Okay. All right. Showing you that Yahweh Bashmi Shah controls the algorithm. You know, in the world, I used to think like <laughs> that I, I could actually, I actually thought like, okay, there's some force outside of us that's given us this information man you know you had the internet pop up like i believe like 07 that's when you had um youtube uh, you know all right you just feel the lord turning up that uh knowledge now we're in what is called the information age where there's been a well i would say around anywhere from um between 07 and um 2015 was like the biggest burst of information right because now we're you know we're still in the information age but now it's like it's esau's trying to suppress it you know and just trying to put a lot of disinformation out and suppress regular information because it's so it was such a flood of it you know such a flood of information that Esau couldn't control nor contain it, and he and he's been trying. You know, you had Hillary Clinton saying, "No, we're is there, there's a information war, and we're losing." All right, yeah, you're losing because Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah controls that. All right, he controls that. He controls the uh, matter of fact. Uh, uh, Yeah, how about Shemiah uh, Shah controls that that algorithm, right? This is uh, Proverbs twenty one and one. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh, as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. All right. So yeah, man. And right now he's making the council of uh, the neo pharaoh brutish. All right. Um. Matter of fact, let me get another one. Yeah. 
This is Jeremiah 49 and 7 concerning Edom, right? Which is this, you know, we know who Edom is, okay? The so-called white man, right? Starting with uh, the little hats, okay? Thus saith Yahweh, power of hosts, is wisdom no more in Teman? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is prudent? Is their wisdom vanished, right? Because Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah is taking that wisdom from them. All right. He's making their counsel brutal a uh, brutish. All right. And this is the this is the process of deposing, just like um what is that? Yeah, Neb Nebuchadnezzar, I believe. Uh, uh he made he was made to eat uh, grass like an ox. Um, you know, and in the book of Daniels, you know, it shows you that, uh, the Lord basically took his wits from him. Okay. Made him brutish, you know, like an animal. He couldn't think, probably couldn't form sentences, you know, he was out of there. And Yahweh Bashmi Asha did that to Esau at one time. All right. Made him, you know, a, a caveman pretty much, you know, just grunting. You know, eating the lice out of out of his fucking crotch, he was through. Okay, and that's what uh the Lord has done. Hey, the Lord did that to us at one time, man. He he lowered our IQ. Okay, oh not IQ, you know, that shit's fake. But he he lowered our um wisdom at one time. He even reduced our numbers and our populations when over there in Europe uh, with the Black Plague, man, because that was a part, that was the process of us being deposed. Okay. All right. Hey, just our very actions, you know, you look over there um, in Europe, you know, when Jake was ruling, just our actions shows how brutish we were becoming because we were we were incorporating Edomites into our, our, our armies, man, and into our ranks, man, showing you that we were declining, all right? On on, on uh, a lot of different levels, we were declining. And that's what we're, that's the process we're seeing with Esau, Edom, okay? All right? Showing you that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai controls all these things, man. Uh, all right? Maybe another one. Right, this is uh, Psalm 75 and 6. Uh, no, Psalm 75 and 4. I said unto the fools, deal not foolishly, and to the wicked, lift not up your horn. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But Yahweh is the judge. He put it down one and setteth up another. All right, and that's what, you, and that's what it is, man. You know, Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah, he sets up kings, he sets up nations, and then he um uh tears them down, man. Uh, I tell you that in uh Romans the ninth chapter when it speaks about of uh, the, the ancient Pharaoh. For this cause have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee, right? Okay. So Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah d does all these things, man. You know. <laughs> he changes the times. And what we're seeing him do right now, matter of fact, um, days. short times. Right, right. And except those, uh, Matthew 24 and 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Okay. So Yahweh Bashim Yahshah has the power to speed this thing up, man. And that's what he's doing, man. You know, you even had scientists, basically, Esau scientists, right? You know, the same fucking guys that can tell you how much the earth weighs, right? You know, the guys that put a um, a digital scale uh, on the north uh, on the south pole <laughs> it can tell you how much the earth weighs right <laughs> you 
you know, they basically came up with some theories about why they why the uh, time is speeding up, why time is shortening. Well, the fact of the matter is, yeah, how about Shimei Asha controls these things, man? He controls the times. He controls the minds of kings. Okay. He controls migration patterns. Okay. He's a, he's got everybody. He, you know, anybody who who thought that they knew anything is about to be confounded, man. Is about to be completely confounded, man. All right, because Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah has everybody on this earth in a trick bag, man. When I say on this earth, I'm I'm not talking about the elect because, you know, we're all on earth, but our our uh, conversation is in the heavens, you know. But um, <laughs> these meat people, these meat people, <laughs> meat people, right? These meat puppets, you know, in this world. You know they can't grasp that. You know they don't. They don't. They don't understand that. You know they just think you know shit just happens. But we understand that y'all about Shimei Al Shai. This is a play. This this is a play. Is it's a theater, and y'all about Shimei Al Shai is closing the curtains on this motherfucker, man. All right, he's closing the curtains on Babylon the Great. He's speeding up the time. He's controlling the minds of these people, causing them to make stupid ass decisions that are uh, ir- irreversible. Okay, irreversible uh, uh, moves and mistakes that these people are making. All right. Why? Because Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah is the ultimate chess player, and he considered a- everything before he made anything. There's nothing marvelous to you. How about Shimei al Shah? You, know, you might wake up one day, like I'm thinking about 9 11, right? I woke I, I happened to wake up in a jail cell. <laughs> All right. I was about 20 years old. All right. I woke up in a uh, jail cell when the planes uh, supposedly hit the uh, towers or whatever. You know, that, that, that theater. You know, <laughs> I woke up like, what the fuck? And that was a, that was a, that was a, you know, uh, world changing event. The world was never the same after that. All right. Uh, shit, the scamdemic, uh, 2020. All right. World was never the same after that. All right. World was never the same after that. All right. And what Esau is realizing in the rest of these heathen is there's no going back to that old world, man. All right, wherever we're at is where we're at, and where we're going is where we're going. And now these elites, they're starting to realize you're not in fucking control, man. Okay? This thing is going to boil over out of your control. And the only option that you heathens are going to have is to go underground and go hide, man. And wait for uh, the elect, starting with you, Howard Shot, to come get you out of them holes, man. Pretty much. All right. Hey, it's funny because uh, the doctors, uh, these doctors here in Babylon are great, which are a bunch of damn hack jobs and wackos, and damn really just warlocks. All right. But uh, they they have something that they call um, inducing a woman's labor. There's something that they do here. They will induce a woman's labor. Here it is. A woman is so far off into her pregnancy. All right. And instead of just waiting for a random day for the Lord to choose for that baby to be born, Esau tries to play God and he will do something that's called inducing the woman's labor. They'll give her a bunch of drugs and stuff to make her go into labor uh, earlier earlier or right then and there pretty much well yeah how about shimmy al shah has the problem to do the power to do that as well you know matter of fact let me get a scripture on that all right all right nation this is isaiah 66 and 8 
who have heard such a thing, who have seen such things, shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day, or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. All right. So your how about Shimei shot is uh, spiritually inducing the labor. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's speeding up the uh, the labor, man. Okay, and that and that child is going to break forth. That man child being Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is bringing the kingdom with him, man. All right, with Yahweh Shai comes the kingdom of heaven upon the earth, man. That's it. That's all. Once he's here, it is up. It is over. It is completely over for the heathens' rule. All right. And he has the power to do that. Why? Because this is his show. This is his show. You know, I remember I had a dream about um one of the brothers, and it was a a hobo Edomite, basically begging begging him for more time. Uh, just give me a little bit. Give me more time. Give me more time. And you're not gonna get um uh, no more time, man. Y'all about shimmy our shots. Uh, matter of fact. This is uh, Sirach 36 and 8. Sake the time short, remember the covenant, and let them declare thy wonderful works. Okay. So, yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Matter of fact, that he, uh, it's another one. Let me see. Uh, all right. This is 2 Ezra 2 and 13. Go and ye shall receive, pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. All right. So, yeah, man, you know, Yahweh Bashimi Ashaz, he, for his elect's sake, he's shortening these days because the elect are crying out to him. You know, <laughs> I was thinking about this movie um, with Samuel Jackson. Um, called a long kiss good night <laughs> you know you had this chick she was under attack she was calling samuel jackson for help she was like get this motherfucker off me that's when samuel jackson kicked into action to come come save her save the bitch and shit you know that that's pretty much you know the elect is that dandle danzel in distress man we're crying out for the rape that we're we're under attack man this devil's trying to rape us man <laughs> trying to devour us man <laughs> you know <laughs> and so we're crying out so what's the lord doing he's hitting the gas man i'm on my way <laughs> i'm hitting the gas i'm speeding through traffic because you know you how about shimmy our is bound by his word man you know it's just prophecies have to happen you know the motb war, uh, world war three the motb all right, yeah, hell, even Isaiah 4 and 1. <laughs> you got all of them, man, you know, the, the four sword judgments to play. All these things have to play out, man. It's, 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 this is, a, you know, it's going to be a wild ride, man. So the Lord really wants us to lock in and strap in, you know. That's pretty much through the spirit what I'm getting, you know, especially in my walk. You know, crazy shit that's been happening to me. The Lord really wants us to put off this world, man. And uh, focus on what he has going on, man. And when you really sit back and look at the whole picture, as much as we're able to see, you know, you know the scriptures talk about that gallery, that painting, how wisdom is like, you know, looking at a painting in a gallery. You know, we're seeing the big picture. We see Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah is um, marvelous in all his works, man. How he has these people set up in a trick bag, even us, man. You know, what uh, what one of the prophets says? Um, hold on, let me see.
Right, man. Because Yahweh Shemi Asha controls the mind, man. This is Jeremiah 27. O oh, Yahweh, thou hast deceived me, and I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I, and has prevailed. <laughs> I am in derision daily. Everyone mocketh me. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, you know. And Jeremiah, he was at the point like, man, I don't want to fucking deal with these people, man. <laughs> I want to deal with these people, man. But Yahweh, I said, I put the spirit on him to, to continue to preach to these people, man. You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you look what he said. He said, Yahweh, that has deceived me. And I was deceived. You fooled me. <laughs> That's how he felt, man. You know, but Yahweh Shemi Ashad does have the power to do that. You know, look what he did to King Ahab, Ahab. You know, he sent a lying spirit to his prophets, man, it's to send them off, showing you, uh, you know. Oh, let me keep reading. Let me read this again. It says, Oh, Yahweh, thou hast deceived me, and I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I. So he's saying, Hey, the Lord, is you're stronger than me. I can't. Oh, the scripture says, who has resisted? Who has resisted his will, man? And has prevailed. <laughs> Thou art stronger than me, and has prevailed, man. See what we're learning is our arm is too, our arms are too short to box, man. All right, hey, hey, hey well, everything that we do is programmed by Yahweh by Shemi We're just robots. See, that's what we're realizing, man. You know, I am in derision daily. Everyone mocketh me, <laughs> you know, and, and that's just the walk of a prophet, you know. All right, but showing you, Yahweh about Shimei Shai, he's he's controls our minds, man. You know, <laughs> you know, and Jeremiah, he felt like the Lord, <laughs> he felt that way, you know. But you know, the spiritual aspect of that, as the spiritual aspect of that is, the Lord can do that to you. You know, that that is a possibility. That's on the table. It's been done before multiple times. And we're seeing it happen to our enemies right now. That's why the scripture says about Esau, Edom, the pride of thy heart have deceived thee. You know, Yahweh Shemi Al-Shah is really hyping this devil up to believe that he can really accomplish this NWO, man. You know? Man, you Esau, man. You you drop bombs on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. <laughs> Nagasaki and Hiroshima, man. Come on, bro. You put all the you put all the Israelites in slavery, nigga. You took care of them. You took over America, nigga. You had the whole earth afraid of you. You Esau, nigga. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I am Esau. You know, and the Lord's just really hyping this devil up, man. Why? To 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 destroy his ass, man. <laughs> You know, to destroy his ass, man. And the one thing that Esau you cannot buy is time. You cannot buy time. All right, you have an appointed time, uh, as the scripture says in the book of Job. He appointed his bounds that he cannot pass, man. All right, turn from him that he may accomplish as a hireling his day. All right. So, hey, man, you were appointed, you were hired to do a job, you were appointed to do a job, and 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 and, and that's exactly what you're going to do until that very date and time that the Lord has for you to go down, man. All right? Because this is, you know, this is, this is, this is all about time. It's all about dis dispensation of time. All right? Yahweh Shemi Al-Shah controls all of that. You're not going to buy yourself a half of a fucking split second more time than the Lord has allotted you. All right. Okay. There's only one kingdom that was uh, promised eternity. Matter of fact, let me get that. I'll probably end on this note. Um, years. Right. This is Sirach 18 and 10. As a drop of water unto the sea, 
and a gravel stone in the in comparison of the sand, so are a thousand years to the days of eternity. All right, and you haven't even been in the power a thousand years, nigga. All right, you've been in power a little over half that, little little over a uh, uh, little over half that. All right, you will just lose for a little season, and 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 it's up for your ass, man. You know. That's pretty much what it is, you know. <laughs> I've been watching this movie with Kevin Bacon years ago. This was when I was a shorty. You know, he was in a uh, prison, and uh, somebody snuck him some coochie. <laughs> somebody snuck him some coochie. Like, look, you got like ten minutes. <laughs> so he had to go in the room and hurry up and get a little quick hump in. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah, that that that's that that's Esau Eden, man. You know, the Lord let you out for a little season, man, and it's pretty much up for your ass, man. Um, matter of fact, there's one more I wanted to get. Um, days of Right, this is Sirach 37 and 25. The days of the life of man may be numbered, but the days of Israel are innumerable, right? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is about to give us eternity, man. We shall possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. All right. Okay. We're, we're the and because we're going to be gods. It says the days of the life of a man may be numbered. Right, men. Oh, the scripture says that the uh, uh, Lord let the uh, heathen know that they are but men. All right, they they're not going to have the the laws written in their inward parts like like the like the uh, like the Israelites. Okay, we're going to have all the uh, we're going to have the laws of Yahweh Bashmi Shah written in our inward parts. We're going to be infallible, incorruptible, therefore, and without sin. Therefore, we're not going to be able to die. When you are that, when the, when you are one hundred percent without sin, you cannot die. All right. Okay. Hey, even the Lord said, "I lay down my life, man." <laughs> he said, "I could have called down a whole bunch of angels, man." <laughs> you know. But he did. He he was obedient unto death, as the scripture said. He, he you know he did what he needed to do to be that sacrifice. You know. <clears throat> but um, hey, the days of Israel are innumerable because it's, it's not going to be no end. All right, it's not going to be no need for an end. It's not going to be no reason to end us because we're going to be uh, as the scripture says. Uh, I believe I quoted it before, but I'll quote it again. Righteousness is immortal. All right. Righteousness is eternal. Or oh, the scripture says the Lord uh created man, which is the Israelite man, to be an image of his own immortality. All right. Uh, image of his own immortality. So yeah. Matter of fact, uh, let me get one more scripture. This is Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Okay. World without end. All right. So yeah, man, we're we're gonna rule forever. <laughs> Anybody ever seen that movie Sandlot? <laughs> it's funny because uh, you had the dog called the Beast. Everybody was scared of his ass. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and uh, kid was telling a story about how the Beast got locked away, and he was like, "How long are you gonna keep him keep, keep him locked up like that?" And the cop was like, "Forever." forever right because the beast got out man the lord let this beast out man you know <laughs> to wreak havoc on the havoc on the world man 
you know, to take peace. You know, he's that red horse that took peace from the earth, man. You know, all right. But this time he's going, uh, he's going, um, he's going on death row this time. All right. He's going in the basement this time. He's getting locked up and then executed. All right. You know, you're not going to rise again after this one. You're not walking this off. That deadly wound is not getting healed. You're getting decapitated, man. All right. But yeah, that's pretty much what I got. Hope there was some edification within it and shalom.